For the first time in Illinois history, the Senate will elect a new president in the middle of a term after Senate President John Cullerton announced his resignation. Yeah, Cullerton stepped down just as an FBI corruption scandal was heating up. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell sat down with both candidates running to replace him and has that story from the State House. The next Senate president will inherit a nightmare of ethic proportions and will have to navigate that tricky, delicate situation. After one senator wore a wire to help the feds in a corruption case, another resigned his office after the feds raided offices here and in Chicago. A third senator sits under federal indictment today and a fourth under active investigation from the Secretary of State's Securities Division and the Legislative Inspector General. So I asked both senators running for that top job, Don Harmon and Kimberly Lightford, how would they restore public trust to an institution under a shroud of suspicion? We need to make sure we uh, instill and protect that integrity of the institution. We've had um, um, a couple instances um, where we don't shine as we should. Majority Leader Kim Lightford said she may adopt tougher rules in the Senate if new ethics laws don't go far enough. As a legislator, you shouldn't be lobbying other units of government. Or as a legislator, uh, all lobbyists should be registered in every unit of government. That would have hit President John Cullerton in the wallet. He lobbied for his law firm's clients in Chicago's City Hall, and his critics said he went too soft on senators under FBI investigation. Would you have done anything differently were you in Senator, uh, Senate President Cullerton's shoes to handle all of these issues? Well, I, I am angry and embarrassed by this entire episode. Uh, I, I would have pushed Senator Sandoval harder to resign more quickly. Even though he was not indicted and Senator Tom Cullerton has been, what, should he resign? Uh, I, again, uh, Tom Cullerton's case is a little bit different than Marty's. Uh, Marty is from the investigation. It, it seems very much tied to his work at the Capitol based on the rate of the office in the Capitol. I think those are different cases. Senator Sandoval already resigned. He can't vote. Senator Tom Cullerton remains in office and still can, despite objections from Governor Pritzker. Senator Lightford offered her support for ethic reform ideas backed by Republicans. Um, our inspector general's office could have stronger authorities, and we ought to give them that and allow them to have a, a stronger Subpoena structure. Um, uh, absolutely, an investigation power as well. Reporting in Springfield, yeah. Mark Maxwell. We'll have more of our exclusive interviews with Senators Harmon and Lightford Sunday when Capital Connection broadcasts live from the State House in the moments leading up to the election. It's been a long time for the